Honor the 17 lives that were taken when a gunman opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School two years ago today. Students at the Parkland School and across South Florida paid tribute to the victims all day today while recognizing the resilience of those who survived. The anniversary of this tragedy has become a day to serve and reflect on what it means to be MSD strong. And we have team coverage of today's tributes. And we begin with Local 10's Andrew Perez live outside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High right now. Andrew. Well, you can just imagine, you can understand two years is not a lot of time. In the grand scheme of things, this is still very fresh for so many people. Relatives specifically saying right now is a time to reflect, to figure out where we've been and how far we've come since. Please join me now in a moment of silence. Across South Florida, a reminder of the tragedy, the lives lost, students paying their respects. Schools in Miami-Dade. It could have affected any of us. And Broward County taking a moment on the second anniversary of the tragedy at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Then at 2.21, the exact time the shooting started, another moment of reflection, where we were and how far we've come. We live this reality every single day, but it's nice to see the community memorize the 17 angels that we lost. In such a special way. Two years too soon for my daughter Alyssa. The anniversary is now a half day and a day of service in Broward County. The day beginning at MSD with a first responders breakfast hosted by students to say thank you. It was difficult to come in and see all these young folks giving us applause and saying thank you for our services. Understanding that not too long ago we came up short. Hunter Pollock lost his sister Meadow, and like many families, he's been fighting ever since for reform. The school district, since the tragedy, has made tens of millions of dollars in technology and security upgrades, pushed for policy and new safety regulations. The district still has work to do, he says, but much has changed since the shooting. I'm proud to see the big school safety improvements that were made the other day, the president's administration. Uh, announced they were going to do the schoolsafety.gov where now administrators could go online and get free access to great recommendations that could better protect their students. That's just the latest example. People have been coming throughout the day, by the way, to drop off flowers, to pay their respects, to just kind of stay here, pray for a bit, go to the nearby parks as well, various vigils all around Broward County that will continue into tonight. That's the latest here in Parkland, though. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Okay.